Hello, this is Hugh Kaplan with SnapLogic. I'm here to talk to you today about reusable lookups in SnapLogic. Uh, the agenda, we're going to go over the business case for reusable lookups and why SnapLogic's current non reusable lookups uh, wouldn't work in this situation, and then how I did the parent. Uh, the, disconnected lookups using a parent-child pipeline technique. So if we go over to SnapLogic and we take a look at uh, the, this pipeline, we can see what the uh, business problem was. I had a customer that you know, put together, you've got all these clients, they have from one to a hundred different SKUs, and I needed to look up those SKUs. If I tried to accomplish this using uh, straight uh, lookups, uh, you can see that the design is one lookup per lookup snap. So I would go and look up the first SKU, which you can see here that works fine. And then I would do a lookup using the second one and pass the results down and uh, that would give me the lookup for the second one and I could continue this so on and so on but as you can see if I got to like 90 or x number I didn't know how many lookups I had to perform this could get quite wiry so the technique I came up with was uh, a parent child pipeline with a couple of twists to it the first twist is and we'll look at this is to concatenate all of the elements that you want to look up into a single string. And that's what I did here. And you can see that there is the string. The next step was to convert that string using the split uh, expression. And that converted the strings here into an array. So this is where you now pass that array into a pipeline execute. Now this alone wouldn't get it, but the other trick here is the second trick is to turn on reuse executions. And this will cause the child pipeline running to process multiple input documents. In our case, here's a child uh, pipeline. It's gonna run all of these inputs, but it's just gonna load the in memory once. So here is the input arrays coming in, as you can see there. Uh, so then I, this is the third trick, and that is flattening out the array. So what this does is it puts each of those array elements on a line by customer. So here I can see customer one has these five SKUs, Customer two has just three. Uh, customer three just has one, uh, has three, four, five, six. Okay, so you can see how uh, you have a variable difference. Some customers ha can have just one uh, SKU and some can have six. So what I do next is filter out the blank uh, SKUs. Then from there, I perform the lookup, and this is where I load the lookup table with the SKUs and the company name and the price. And voila, this is how I was able to, for customer one, SKU one is Boeing, SKU two is Johnson and Johnson, three, so on. So that's how I was able to perform those results uh, pretty up the results and then pass it back to the parent and voila here is the customer with all of the SKUs that they had SKU one through whatever along with the lookup and the price information so uh, to just repeat what we just looked at showed how I used a parent-child pipeline configuration to perform a reusable lookup in SnapLogic, then checking reuse in the pipeline execution snap, then passing the elements as, a, as an array, and then using the JSON splitter to flatten our array, 
looking up each one of the elements and then returning the results back to the parent. Uh, again, this is Hugh Kaplan with SnapLogic and thank you for your time.